Lucas Media. So I was watching Nightcap, and you know, make sure y'all go subscribe to that platform. But Shannon Sharp and uh, Chad Johnson had the debate, and they got the debating over flying private versus flying commercial. Now Chad is against flying private, as y'all know. He talks about flying Spirit and JetBlue or whatever, you know, um, buying earrings from Claire's and fake jewelry. And Chad's one of the only players, at least to my knowledge, that still has multi-million dollars because he always lived on a very low budget. And I believe he played. At least 10 years, but maybe longer. But he was able to save all his money. Like I said, <laughs> y'all, ever, y'all go back and watch Hard Knocks. I think he was driving that small electric car and he didn't pull up in minivans and st- old minivans. He don't care. So uh, Uncle Shannon, shout out to him, three-time Super Bowl champion. He's lately been flying private. And you've seen it. It seemed like. After him and um, Skip went they separate ways off Undisputed, you seen uh, Unk enjoy the fruits of his labor a little more. I remember him and Stephen A. flew private, or I don't know if they met up there together, but it showed him at, at the private airport standing outside the jets. And um, Shannon just seems like he's enjoying life a little bit more. And y'all know he got all these platforms. He's on ESPN, Club Shay Shay, which is completely got now he got one of the highest interviews of all time with cat williams and nightcap which is almost at a million subscribers but yeah he's been flying private a lot lately and chad basically was telling him like you know we should show our people you don't have to fly private and i mean am i just all loving games fun and games and stuff but they were talking about that and uh shannon basically said that you know, sometimes it's more convenient and he hasn't made no money yet off these platforms, but hopefully he will. But, you know, sometimes you got to go point A to point B to get somewhere. And Chad said he has no problem flying spirit. And I forget, he says the name of the seat, man. These guys are hilarious, man. I really, it's really refreshing to see uh, Unk boss up after, you know, the whole skip thing. But I digress. But here's my thoughts on flying private versus commercial. What we really need to be asking is how is Unk, how is Shannon Sharp able to fly private in his mid 50s? Because most players are completely flat broke. So it's like I see both sides of the coin, right? If I'm Chad Ochocinco, I'm not flying private for what? I got 20 million in the bank. I'm straight. Just give me a little first class ticket. I'm good. But then Unk, on the same time, you know, he's. You know, he getting NFL checks outside of football and um, he in his mid 50s. He looks like he's managed his money well. He's very successful and he can afford to do those things. So there's no there's nothing wrong with splurging. I think he said he played at least three hundred thousand for tickets at the Lakers a year. It might have been a million, but it was somewhere around that around that ballpark. Right. So he's known for spending money, and he said he only been a handful of games. But if you're making the money that he's making, you're in your mid-50s, all your kids is grown, you're probably a grandparent. If you got it, man, ain't nothing wrong with flying private, you know? Um, I can't shoot. I'm still trying to wait to get the first class. And then from first class, the next would be private after that. You know, I might it might have to take me. At least another decade, but who don't want to do that? I think the problem is a lot of times we see younger people flying private everywhere. And then, and I'm really talking about a lot of these athletes and entertainers. And then by the time they get to their 40s, they broke. So I don't see nothing wrong with Unk doing it. I see Stephen A. Smith doing it. You know, if you're an older guy and you fly in private, you know, you've done a lot of uh, properly managing your money. And there's nothing wrong with spoiling yourself, you know, treating yourself here and there. So, you know, and Unc clearly got the money because if he didn't have it, he wouldn't be flying that way. But shout out to Chad as well, man. I wish a lot of brothers would follow his model on saving their money. So I see I see both sides, man. But tell me what y'all think about it.